Hello again lovely people and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to do this beautiful little granny square ripple stitch. Okay and it is very nice. It is also um, a basic stitch. The only thing difficult about it is just the initial chains and starting that first row. After that the second row onwards is exactly the same all the way through so you actually can't go wrong. Um, I won't say it's easy easy um, because you know it's like anything anything can be easy once you get the hang of it okay so just get past that second row and you will find it easy okay what else can I tell you about this this is going to be a blanket which um, isn't for anyone in particular I'm going to be making it to put on my madeit.com.au store and Etsy store I may still have that up and running um, just check out the links below and if you want to click on those you can check out some other items I have on the stores if not and you still want to do this tutorial stick with us it is a basic tutorial and for the purpose of the tutorial I'm only going to be using one color I may consider using the other colors but I've noticed with this particular thread um, it is lovely it is made with half bamboo which is like a cotton and half wool but I've noticed with this thread and the white not so bad but with the green when I'm using it for tutorials this little shadowy kind of yellowy I'll get a nice close-up for it so you can have a look at it this kind of yellowy shadowy greeny look can um, not be so visible on um, the video so with the white it doesn't have that problem because it's white or cream or pearl or whatever color you want to call it you won't have that problem so you can see the stitches perfectly with the white pearl I should say <laughs> um, yes so if you are going to make a big blanket remember lovely people to focus on your shades and your dye lots your item will look messy if you um, it'll look patchy it'll look messy if you don't stick to the dye lot so if you're going to make a blanket and you need 800 grams six to eight hundred grams whatever you need to get four or five balls of this yarn or four or five skeins skeins whichever word you would like to use okay and i did use a four and a half millimeter hook only because my stitching again is very tight and uh, for you guys to see the stitch as well we used a four and a half okay so without further ado let's get started all right now if you are not familiar with double crochets or chains um, and you are a beginner please check out some previous tutorials I have here and have a bit of a practice and come back to us because then it will make this particular stitch so much easier so we are going to start off with a slip knot okay oops half over and all the way over now uh, yours truly has been using this thread in previous tutorials so it'll be the last time I use this particular thread because it is starting to split the more you work with a thread the more you uh, tend to damage it and you can see how it gets a bit furry that means you have worked with it far too many times just be weary of that little tip from the crochet artist <laughs> okay we are going to start off with the pattern calls for a multiple of 25 so i think there i had about 150 something i can't remember exactly how many stitches i've had on that blanket but we are going to do just for the purpose of the tutorial um 50 so we're going to chain on 50 so chain one two three four five six seven okay now do the rest up to 50 and I'll meet you up all right so we've done our 50 chains there we are all our 50 chains are right there now as I said before it was a multiple of 25 okay but you have to add on another four chains to make the stitch the start of the stitch so it's one two three four so this is what you should have so far oh sorry about that <laughs> you should have literally 54 chains okay so now that we're up to 54 chains we're up to our first row let's get started all right we're up to our second row now 
with the second row we're going to put a double crochet in the seventh chain from hook now this is where it can be a little tricky just be careful about your chains and the counting and so on so that is your first chain right there one two three four five six and seven because if you mess up that first chain <laughs> it's going to put the whole row out of whack so you're going to put a double crochet there now if you feel uncomfortable go back and count them one two three four five six seven all right so there's a double crochet and you put another two in there that is called your um, double crochet cluster set so when I say pop your cluster set in there you'll know it's three double crochets <clears throat> excuse me all right so now we skip three I'm sorry we skip two one two and we pop another cluster set in that third chain from hook from hook third chain from the previous cluster set get it right Mary then you do a full cluster set in there which is two and three all right <clears throat> all right my voice is going today people because I have a full day to myself and I've done tutorial after tutorial so my voice will be going soon all right so initially we will need four of these sets so we've got one we've got two so we skip two chains which is one one two and we pop it in the third chain and we're doing a full cluster set in there and that's your third cluster set okay so far so good <laughs> so far it's easy yes okay it's a little bit fiddly that first row but you, you'll get past it and once you're past it the rest is easy so we've got one set two three we need one more set before we can start doing our peak okay so skip one skip two and pop it in the third one and you put the cluster set in there one two and three all right so remember before when we first started we had those seven chains okay that is the um the valley so to speak that's the lower part it looks high at the moment but it's the lower part and we've gone we've gone and done our one two three four sets now we're going to do a peak we're going to make they look like v's by the time we're finished okay so now we are going to <clears throat> excuse me all right we're going to chain two one and two this is where it's different and we're going to put another cluster set in that very next stitch so no skipping at the moment just pop your cluster set in that very next stitch it's a little tight a little close to the last one but it's there so one two and three and what it's done is it's actually caused this effect right here it's given you the valley i'm mean, not valley the peak <laughs> that's the valley down there so it's given you a little peak okay so your v it's actually ups, upside down v at the moment so if you look at it that's the v all right all right so that's that easy so far i know right <laughs> all right now whoops we're going to go back down to the valley okay so we skip two which is one and two and we pop your next cluster set in that third chain from hook I keep saying from hook from the last cluster set not from the hook i do that in almost every tutorial <laughs> all right um there's your cluster set okay so now you skip one two and three you put it in the third one so you're skipping two and you're putting your cluster set in the third one it's one two and three okay so what have we done so far just the one from the peak we've got one two and three we need one more so skip two and pop it in the third one and we're putting a cluster set in there Okay, so far so good now this is where we're going to do the valley 
Now the valley, this part here, it does look a little bit weird once it's completed, this section here, but it will fall into place later, I promise, okay? So what we're doing with the valley is, all right, we've got to skip five chain and then we go into the sixth chain and do the cluster set that way. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and we pop it in the sixth chain there and we're doing a full cluster set in there now when we do the cluster set don't leave it too loose make sure it's tight enough so it looks like it's pulled in if you leave this too loose it looks funny okay so finish off your cluster set with your two double crochets so you've got three all together okay and after we do the next set i'll show you what it looks like okay all right so now you go back to Skip one and two, and you do your normal cluster set in the next one. Easy so far, yeah? A little bit fiddly, but easy. Okay. Skip one and two, and pop it in your third one. And then we'll count and see how many we've done. I think we've only done three, so we'll see. Okay, two and three. And what you need to do, always make sure that you've got four. So one, two, three, and you need another one to make four. So skip two, one and two, and pop it in the third one, right there. And that's your fourth cluster set. And we'll have a quick look at it before we continue, so I can show you where we're at and you can start seeing your uh, valleys and your peaks okay let's bring that out a bit okay so that is your valley the start of your valley that's the seven chains from the beginning or six chains then we went up we did our peak and we came back down and did another valley and now we're going to go up and do the peak okay Looking good so far, guys. Looking good. Okay. Now, do we remember how we did the valley? I mean, yes. No, the peak. <laughs> we chained two. One, two. And we popped our cluster set in the next chain right there. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay, so we skip two, one, two, and pop it in the third one. And we're just doing a normal cluster set now. Two. And three. Oops, 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 oops. I made a total mess here. Ah, my thread is meeting at the middle now. Okay. Um, where do we get up to? We skipped two and we went into our, we're going to go into our third one. That's one, two, and three. Okay, so you got one, two, three. We need one more. So we're skipping two, one, two, and we're going into our third one. One, two, and three. And what you should have now is three chains left, okay? So you're skipping two and you're going into that third one. But what you're doing, which is the very last one, is you're just putting in one double crochet in there. Now with this one, I like to put it through both those loops instead of just a top one. I like to put it through both. See how it's through one there? because yours truly is crocheted so tightly <laughs> okay let's just pop it through the top loop then doesn't really matter it's just me being fussy okay so we're just going to put a double crochet in there and i will show you where we are at at the moment let's bring that out again okay so again it looks a little fiddly to begin with but it's only the beginning you've got your valley goes up to your peak down to your valley up to your peak down to your valley okay 
looks like the letter M almost, okay? Now, the best part is your next row is going to be, once you get that done, it's going to be the same all the way through. And that is the best part, okay? You, the hard part's over. Yay, the hard part's over. <laughs> now, let's get another close up there. You chain up three. One, two, and three. Turn. And all you're going to do is you're going to skip that gap right there. And they're not exactly chain spaces because there's no chains in between, but they are spaces. So we're going to put a cluster in every space until we get to the peak. All right. So a cluster in there, cluster set in there, which is one, two, three. And a cluster set in the next one. One, two. Three, and a cluster set in that very next one, two, and three. Sorry, came out of the screen a little bit there because I'm pulling my thread. Okay, so what you should have now basically is this look. Now I know it looks a bit funny there. But when we come back around again later, we're going to put a cluster set in there. So it'll straighten it out. But for now, it does look like it curves a bit. And that will sort itself out. Okay. So we've done one, two, and three. We're going to do our fourth one, which we're going to do in our chain space, our peak. So that's a one, two, three. All right. So. That's what you should have so far. One, two, three, four. And your fourth one is in that peak. So now you're going to do chain two. One, two, because you want to continue your peak. You're going to put a double crochet. I'm lying. You're going to put the cluster set in the same space. Okay, two and three. So I'll show you what I did. There, yeah, so you can see it. You did your one two three and four and then you chained up two and did another cluster set in the same space okay and after this row we'll see how nice it looks okay so now you just cluster set in your next space you come to so like i said now th this is the easy bit guys you're going to be flying through this now okay you know what? It's a statement I like to use often, flying. It's not as if we're getting wings and flying, is it? <laughs> Are we growing wings? No. <laughs> next one. Keep going until you get two. Before you do that next one, you need to stop. So if you've done one, two, and three, we're on our fourth one. So I want you to stop when you get at the end of this one here because this will be a little bit different. Oh, oh. don't lose stitches like I do. <laughs> It's what happens when you're rushing. All right, so what we've got is we've done our peak. Now we're going down to the valley, okay? So the valley part of this particular stitch, okay? All right, now we've been putting our cluster sets in the spaces. We're not going to put our cluster set in this space, okay? Because this is going to be our valley. What we're going to do is we're going to skip that space I'm going to, go and go right into the next space right there. I know it's a bit of a, a distance, so you need to make sure it's nice and tight. Don't leave it loose. Double crochet there. One, two, three. And what you've got, it feels awkward and looks awkward, but it will sort itself out later, I promise. Okay, and it's already starting to sort itself out. Okay, now if you leave it too loose, you'll have this like, two string gappy thing here and you don't want that so that's perfect the way it is there all right now we've done one cluster set so now we're going to do another three more one whoops whoops nearly lost that didn't i two three whoops i'm gonna pull my thread sorry people two and three all right now another cluster set here one whoops 
two and three. Now what have we got? We've done the one, two, three. Now we need to do, whoops, right in that chain space, we need to do another one. So one, two, three. So that's another set there. And then you chain two, one, two, because we're doing the peak. And we're doing another cluster set in that same space. Okay. Two and three. Now we're going to go down to the valley again. Sounds like we're going on a trip, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. So cluster set in the next space. So it's one, two, three. A cluster set in the next space. One, two, three. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for you guys. I just realised I'm just flying, as we said, flying through it. So a cluster set in the next space. And three. So let me show you where you are at at the moment. All right. We still haven't finished it off, I know. But it's just sitting there waiting to be finished. We've done one, just so, you know, because I've rushed through that, I thought maybe I'd better show you one, two, three cluster sets. Then we did a fourth one in there. We chained two. We did a fourth, a fifth one in there. So it's actually two in the same one. So that's classified as one, two, three, four. With this one, we skipped that gap, remember? And we did one right next to it nice and tightly so we don't have too much of a gap there so that's one two three four then you've got your chains it's still a little bit too far isn't it sorry guys and then you've got your one two three four and now we're about to get on with the last bit all right so we're on to that last bit oh let me give you a nice close-up here what I might do is actually, I might try and change colour. I won't use the green because I thought maybe I'll try the pink and see if it makes a difference. The pink is this one here and I'll, I'll see if I can find a, a thread for you, the colour there. It's a garnet. So it looks a little bit like a pinky, a light, it's like a, a medium pink, light purpley, oh, it's an unusual colour. Anyway, if it doesn't look good, we'll stop and we'll go back to the white. But I wanted to show you how to change colours on the second row. Okay, so you're on the second row, you're on the final row, you've done your last one, two, three, four cluster sets. Now what you need to do is just a double crochet in the top of that chain right there. No, you don't. I'm lying. Um, let's just check the pattern there a minute. Sorry about that, lovely people. Just check the pattern there. Sorry, my mistake. It is a normal double crochet in the top of that chain right there. Okay? Because we've already got our four cluster sets. I was thinking I need to put another cluster set, but we've already got one, two, three, four. So we just need a double crochet there. So, sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to put our normal double crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Okay, you've got your double crochet between the last two. And then you've got these last two left, which is the end of your double crochet stitch. So what I want to do is show you how to add another colour. Okay, so all you do is pop the yarn, your next colour yarn over your hook and pull it through. Nothing fancy, just do that. Now, we need to... Just give it a bit of a tug so it's tighter. I find it easier to hold your new yarn and your last yarn together over there. And then you pull up that. Okay. So then you chain up three. One, two, three. And what we're doing is we're repeating that very last row that we did. Remember how we skipped that first space? We pop it in the next space. Okay, so we're doing a full cluster set in there. All right. 
Pretty cool, huh? So the pattern is rather basic. Another cluster set in your next stitch. Now all you're doing with this pattern, I'm just getting my thread, undoing my thread there, sorry people. All you're doing with this pattern here is you're just repeating that last row that we just did over and over and over and over <laughs> until you get a little bored of it or oops, oops, that wasn't supposed to happen or until you reach the um, length or, you know, what you want, what you're doing. Um, whether you're doing a pillow covering, whether you're doing a blanket or whatever it is you're doing. I've seen women wear scarves in this particular pattern. Okay, you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so now we're in that corner. Remember that corner bit? The peak, if you will, that's the word we've been calling it this whole time. We're going to do our normal cluster set there. Oh, it does look nice with this pinky colour, doesn't it? Mm. It does. Okay, now we're going to chain two. I love colour. <laughs> I love playing with colours. Okay, and do a normal cluster set. So we've chained two and we're going to do our normal cluster set in the same space. And we're going to do another cluster set in the next space and so on and so on and so forth. When we get down to the bottom of the valley, we'll do the we'll do the valley together and then um, I'll get you to repeat the pattern until the end and we'll meet up. So we're not down to the valley yet. We've only done one and two. So we need to do another two clusters. So that's one. Oh, my thread's just got caught on something. Ah, table, the edge of the table. All right, there we go. So we've got one, two, three, and one more in here before we do our valley. So that's the one, the last set there. All right, so remember the valley before, how we had to say, make sure it was tight together? Well, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to start our double crochet. We're going to skip that space and go into the next space, making sure that's nice and tight and not loose. Not too tight or I'll, like mine, you won't be able to make the stitch. <laughs> okay, that's one, two, three. Okay, so there you go. You've done your, uh, let me show you. You've done your valley, peak, valley, and now we're going up to the peak and down to the valley. So what I want you to do is get down to, uh, say, there, the second last cluster, and I'll meet you up. All right, and here we are at the end of that row. Okay, so what we're going to do, oh, we'll get a nice close-up there, sorry about that. Just do a double crochet in that third chain, top of that third chain, remember from before? Okay. And what you have, lovely people, is, and how pretty does it look when we've changed the colour? Okay, so it's starting to take shape now. In the beginning it was sort of a little bit wonky and all over the place, but now it is starting to take shape. The question you need to ask yourself is, how far do I want to go, okay? And how wide should I have started it? Now, so that you can understand the width size here, mine, we started off with um, the 50, 50 chain, remember? So mine went from there to there. It's 25 centimetres, or say 10 inches, 25 centimetre, 25 and a half centimetres, which is roughly 10 inches, okay? So if you wanted a blanket, um, I don't know, say 165, what you need to do is divide that by the 50 that we've done. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Um, and then you can get the size that you like. And I think with this particular blanket, I did, I can't remember how many I did now. Let's have a quick look. I'll measure it up, that might help. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. It's a little bit tight, this one. So 50, 100, 150, 
I was roughly 175 stitches, okay? So roughly 175 stitches got me, and I'll measure it all up for you so you can see. It got me 43, so it's roughly, oh, and I'm doing a rough measurement, it's not perfect, 71 centimetres in width, okay? So usually my blankets do consist of, um, don't forget I do like to put a border. So when I say 80 something, usually 85 to 86 centimetres, um, I usually add another 10 centimetre border, five on one, five on the other, makes it 10 centimetres all the way around. Okay, so usually that's what I do. So you're probably looking at about 165, 170 stitches if you want to make a... Um, uh, 70, I'm trying to find where it was, 71, did we say? I can't remember now. Say 28-inch blanket, okay? In width, that is, not in length. Length, you need to measure up this way, but that's, again, length is entirely up to you. I just thought for width-wise, if you wanted to see how big mine was, mine was 71 to 75 centimetres, something like that. Um, and it's going to be that, and it'll probably turn out to be, uh, by the time I'm finished, it will probably be 120 by, say, 85, something like that. Okay? So thank you so much for watching, lovely people. Don't forget to click like if you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that little bell button so you can receive further tutorials. Continue on with your pattern. I've got it upside down. No, that's the right way. Continue on with your pattern. Go as far as you like. Don't forget, um, really enjoy your crochet. Play with it change things, add things, do what you like, but, you know, just enjoy it, okay? Have a great day and ciao for now.